Hello, one and all. My name is Matt. Welcome to the Sinbin, where I bring you world-class hockey news and world-class hockey analysis. So this morning, I woke up, and the first thing I did is that I went on my favorite website, Pornhub. And after I was done there, I went on my Facebook, and I saw a lot of news about Morgan Riley and how he's getting in trouble. So I'm going to read to you the exact news coming from Complete Hockey News, if you guys want to join that uh, group. So the Toronto Maple Leafs defenseman Morgan Riley was allegedly caught on Mike calling the referee a fucking faggot. So expect the Leafs already thin defense core to get a little lighter the next couple of games. And that's actually a good point. If I could open a can of worms over here. Um, let's not fool ourselves. The Leafs defense isn't their best part. Not even close. In fact, it's quite thin. And now with the injury to Gardner, who's out for I don't know how much time, and I think Dermot's also gone. I mean, it's just getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Uh, Ron Hainsey, who's 50 years old, he's going to have a lot of workload, and God knows if he can handle it. Moving on, though. So the NHL has launched a formal investigation into the Toronto Maple Leafs defenseman Morgan Riley's alleged use of a homophobic slur towards an official. Wow. So Morgan Riley, in case you guys don't know it, he's the Maple Leafs' top defenseman. He's having an incredible year. Just, guys, outstanding. I'm looking at his stats. 69, 69, 69 games played. 18 goals, 47 assists for 65 points. 65 points in 69 games. Some forwards don't get that. In addition, he's a plus minus. He's a plus 29. Guys, he's having, and some might say he's a favorite for the Norris Trophy. You know what? I would agree. Uh, tra uh, Giordano would give him a run for his money, but I would definitely agree for the argument saying that Morgan Riley should win the Nor Norris Trophy. And I'm not even a Leafs fan. Hell, I hate it. Actually, I was thinking of making my next video on how much I think the Leafs are overrated. I don't like this team at all. My favorite activity consists of shitting on the Maple Leafs jersey. I don't like this team whatsoever. But the one thing about me is that I put my heart aside and I let my brain do the talking. And... After this whole incident with Morgan Riley, I got to say, I don't agree with it. And I'll tell you why, and I'll try to be as rational as possible, which is a, not a strong point of mine being rational. But I'll try to be as rational as possible. And I'm not expecting you guys to like this video. And I'm expecting to get a bunch of dislikes. And if you guys disagree, hey, write it in the comments. Tell me why you disagree. But I'm going to go through why. I think suspending him isn't a rational thing. Fining him might be an okay thing. If the NHL wants to fine him and uh, fine him for I don't know how many dollars, just to pass a statement on why saying faggot is a bad word, go ahead. That's fine. But suspending him is different. And I'll explain why. Trash talk has always been a part of hockey. And having played hockey at the various levels and having watched hockey and having been on the glass watching hockey, the F word, I'll stop saying it to not offend people. The F word isn't the worst thing that's said. People on the ice are probably saying, I want to rip your head off and shit down your throat, yada, yada, yada. The F word, in my opinion, isn't the worst thing said. So why this whole hullabaloo? Why this whole fiasco? Because it was caught on camera. The audio was caught on camera, on the microphone. People say the F word probably every single second. But just because this one time it's caught on audio, it's a big deal. Those of you saying that he should get suspended, then you should say every player who says it should get suspended, not only when it's caught on audio. Second of all, we don't have concrete 
evidence or concrete proof that Morgan Riley said it. Now, maybe it's 90% sure, 95% sure, but as long as they're not 100% sure that it's Morgan Riley, I don't think they should suspend him. I guess they can go to the referee and say, hey, do you remember if um, Morgan Riley said this to you or yada, yada, yada? But judging by the video, I can't see Morgan Riley's lips move. And I'll try to put the video link in the description. But we can't see his lips move. The camera was too far back. Now, those of you who are hockey fans, this incident was eerily similar to Andrew Shaw, who was then with the Chicago Blackhawks, his incident. But the only difference is that when he said the six-lettered F word, it was clear the cameras were on him and he made an obscene gesture towards the ref. And if I'm reading this article by the Chicago Tribune, Shaw shouldn't play against St. Louis in game fives on Thursday, not just because of what he said. There is no excuse for calling someone the homophobic slur he used Tuesday, but because he should know better. The NHL obviously agrees as he has been suspended for Thursday's game and will be required to undergo sensitivity training. Think about it. The NHL is suspending him because he should know better. Is that a good reason for suspending someone because he should know better? I don't know. I might be the only one out here. I just, I'm not a bandwagoner. I speak my opinion. And the fact of the matter is, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, I would love to hear the other point of view. The fact of the matter is, I looked all over the internet, left, right, center. I couldn't find one rule saying you can't call someone a slur. I, again, I might be wrong. It wasn't that long of a research, but I couldn't find one rule doing it. So why are you suspending him based on what? A feeling? Then if you're suspending him because of that, suspend all the players who say faggot. There'll be one suspension every game. I guarantee you that. The trash talk that goes on the ice. It's incredible. Every, uh, every hockey player should have a bar of soap to wash their mouths after every game because the trash talk is incredible. Anyway, those are my feelings. I know this isn't a popular uh, opinion. I know this isn't uh, what everyone wants to hear. And uh, my name is Matt. Welcome to the Sin Bin. <laughs> it can only go up from here. Please like and subscribe if you like this. You probably didn't, but please like and subscribe if you did. And I'll make more videos to come later on. Thanks for listening.